when you get close, it just takes like millimeter movements. Okay, we're gonna call that balanced. Just, just in the interest of expediency. Okay, so, let's see, on my picture, I'm going to have um, this point labeled as 15, and that's where I have 121 grams, and this is 15.0 centimeters, and now I've got 200 grams, or 221, because of the clamp, at 69.5. So, remember these are sample numbers, the numbers won't be exactly this. Okay, so here's the deal. For my case one, um, I want to put it in the same order as you're going to see it. M1 equals 121 grams. X1 equals 15 centimeters. M2 equals 221 grams, and X2 is 69.4 centimeters, and um, R1 and R2, those, the X's are the coordinates on the meter stick, and the R's are the distance from the fulcrum, so R1 is right here, and R2 is right here. Those are the leather arms. So R1 is 50 centimeters minus 15 centimeters or 35 centimeters. And then R2 is 69.4 centimeters minus 50 centimeters or 19.4. Okay, it should be pretty straightforward so far. Now, um, the results. Well, mass one is causing a counterclockwise torque about this pivot, right? So the counterclockwise torque is going to be 121 grams times 35 centimeters. I don't know what that is. Uh, somebody maybe would be willing to calculate that. And the clockwise torque, that's what the weight on the other side is, is causing. That's going to be uh, 221 grams times 19.4 centimeters. So I don't know what that is. Does anybody have numbers for either one of those? Nobody's calculating? Four thousand two hundred thirty-five grams centimeters. Thank you. What about the second one? Four thousand two hundred eighty-seven. Four thousand two hundred eighty-seven. Yeah. Point four. Okay. I'll just I'll just do the four digits. Okay. The gram centimeters. So um, now I'm pretty sure I have a blank there for percent difference. And so percent difference that means the difference in these two divided by the average. So you're going to do 4287 minus 4235 divided by the average of them. And then, of course, 
course, times 100%. I, I don't even care what that is. It's going to be fairly small. Okay, what, do I have like six minutes or something? It's at 25 right now. It's at, oh, okay, so I've got five. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. you have five minutes. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you. For case two, um, you're going to keep it pivoted where it is, and now you're going to put, um, you're going to put M1, uh, 100 at the 10 centimeter. So I'm going to move this. <coughs> And now I'm going to put um, 200 at the 65. I'm almost there. So, it's, but it's really going to be 221. And uh, it wants us to put, figure out where to put um, 50 grams, so that's just a plain old weight hanger, but it's going to be 71 grams actually, um, unless you just want to hang it like this, which, which might be what you want to do. You could just keep it 50 if you just hang the 50 gram mass. We want to know where to hang it to keep that balanced. Oh, that's pretty good, right? Now here's the deal. Listen up. When you do the torque calculation for this, this mass over here is causing a counterclockwise torque, but these two are each causing clockwise torques, and you have to calculate those torques separately. So your equation here is going to be, um, so this is case two. You're going to have um, uh, M1 times R1. That's going to be your um, counterclockwise torque. And your clockwise torque is going to be M2 times R2 plus M3 times R3. You have to do them separately and then add them. It's not like an average position kind of thing. OK? You guys with me on that? Now, there are blocks in the little drawer in the back of the room that you're going to use as unknown masses for case um, for the very last thing. And let me show you how that's going to work. You're going to balance an unknown mass with the weight of the meter stick. So I'm jumping right to part B, fulcrum knot at CG. We're going to pivot the meter stick at the 40 centimeter mark. How many minutes do I have? You have two minutes exactly. Okay. I wish it hadn't taken me so long to balance that. All right. Okay, so here I'm pivoting it at the 40. Now, you guys, the center of mass is out here. And the meter stick acts like all of its mass is located right at that point. So you're going to have some unknown mass. Let's pretend we don't know what that mass is because I don't want to take the time to go back there. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't hit your toe. Okay. I'm just going to do... Oh, I can't get that one far enough away. All right. Okay, check it out. Here's the pivot. The center of mass of the meter sticks out here. And I'm balancing this weight with the torque due to the center of, of, of mass of the meter stick. So this is going to be the distance of the center of mass from the pivot times the weight of the meter, the mass of the meter stick. And out here, you're going to have your unknown mass times its distance from the pivot. And you're going to solve for the unknown mass. Then you're going to measure the unknown mass and compare those two results. OK? So I think that's all I can tell the video. OK, thank you. Okay.